Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Taco Bell is doing what they do best. And what does Taco Bell do best? They release new items. Good or bad, they are always extremely consistent when it comes down to these new releases. And uh, Taco Bell, well, they continue doing just that. Today's review is for a new burrito released from Taco Bell. You will never guess. You, I mean, you will never guess what is on this burrito. It's not like it's in the name or anything. It's going to blow your mind. Are you ready? What if I told you that Taco Bell has these magical things that are these often three-dimensional rectangular strips composed of potato meat. They are fried and they took these objects and wrapped them in a tortilla with other ingredients. I can't even begin to imagine such a concept. Taco Bell did just that, though, because we know that when it comes down to innovation, when it comes down to creativity, Taco Bell is unparalleled. There's nothing that even comes close to them. Yeah, that's, a, that's sarcastic, because I'll be honest, Taco Bell has the nacho fries. I have, no, I have no objection to the nacho fries from Taco Bell at all. I enjoy them. I like them. Every time I have tried out the nacho fries, I've given them a good review. Taco Bell has obviously incorporated the nacho fries into many an item. They have them on their own. They have nacho fries burritos. They have nacho fries bowls. And there are all sorts of various things that you could have the nacho fries added to. You could still like them as a product, but you could also feel this way where you could say, you know, I like them, but at this point in time, the nacho fries generally, and I see this, I see what people have to say about them, are a stale, overdone concept that generates little to no interest. You could feel both of those ways, and I do. And uh, that's what I see. A lot of people say, yeah, the nacho fries are good and all, but they're kind of overdone. I mean, come on, Taco Bell. They could, you know, is that it? Are you just going to add nacho fries to this or to that? Is, is there anything else you could do? And I see that sentiment quite a bit. And I'm curious, before I get into this review, if you are a, a Taco Bell regular, if you have any thoughts about them, what do you think about the nacho fries at Taco Bell? Do you think that it's an overdone gimmick at this point as well? Or do you think that, you know, it doesn't really matter, just incorporate them as much as uh, possible? So what do you think? If you want to leave a comment, I'm curious as to thoughts, but I just get the impression that it's kind of overdone. A lot of people are kind of, it's like, eh, come on, just leave them on the menu. You know, it's, it's not that big of a uh, exciting deal anymore like they were in 2018. But nonetheless, now let's actually get into this. Taco Bell is still going all out with the nacho fries. They are back. And they've also released a special burrito with nacho fries therein. And in this instance, they have released the Chili Verde Fries Burrito. Now, you could get it with just the nacho fries, or you could get it with steak added. I got the steak variety. So here's what it has in it. Steak, obviously filet mignon, their nacho fries, nacho cheese sauce, a three cheese blend, chile verde sauce, sour cream, and fiesta strips, and it's all wrapped together in a tortilla, and it is available for the price of five dollars. The steak Chile Verde Fried Burrito from Taco Bell. I got the burrito by itself. Got it right here. Wait, 
This is interesting, actually. I don't know if this was necessarily intentional, but I will say it's actually kind of a bit of a relief because this kind of proves that at least I got the right item, so that's good. You see right there? See the green? You might say, what is that? Right? What is that green stuff? Is that algae? What is that? Is that trees? Money? That, I believe, is the Chile Verde sauce. The namesake of this burrito. Yeah, I know it could be kind of silly, but this is what it looks like, though. It's like a standard burrito, but it actually, again, I don't think that was intentional, but it's just nice to actually see the sauce on the outside because I'll give a little bit of a, an example. I know the lighting is kind of bleached out right there. There's a better look at it. And there's the other end. It has its structural integrity. But uh, around New Year, they released a burrito called the Salsa Verde Burrito. And I tried it out, and it was such a disappointment because there was no sauce in there, or there was very little. So actually seeing the sauce on the outside verifiably is a good sign. What I'm going to do right now, because I think I was able to describe it sufficiently, you know what's on it, you know the price. Again, it incorporates the steak, the fries, various sauces, cheese, and then it again has the special chile verde sauce. I am going to cut this in half. You'll be able to get an adequate cross section. And then after that, I will eat it and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to pause the camera, dismember it, and uh, then you will see this now in two pieces in just a moment. The operation was a success. And now you could see for yourself the cross section. You could see the fries right in there. I'm not seeing a ton of steak, but I do see a little steak piece on that side. The fiesta strips, some of the green sauce right there. So you could see it. Good cross section, looks like a very diverse variety of ingredients. I shall try it out now and I'll let you know how it is. All right, let's see. The steak chile verde fries burrito from Taco Bell Galleon. You know why they call them nacho fries? Because they're nacho fries. I have some thoughts on this. Before I get into the assessment, which I don't think will be too long, I'm actually going to rip this piece of tortilla off. And you see how it is now thoroughly coated in the sauce right there? I'm gonna try this by itself.
So this is an item that has a lot of ingredients, as you could obviously see, right? It has a steak, seasoned fries, nacho cheese sauce, three cheese blend, the chile verde sauce, sour cream, and fiesta strips. And a lot of the time with Taco Bell items, they fall into one of two categories when it comes down to all of these ingredients wrapped up into one burrito, you get one of two outcomes, generally speaking. A lot of the time, all the ingredients either blend together perfectly, and it is just the perfect combination. Everything complements each other. You could sometimes make out the individual notes, but it all pairs very nicely. A lot of the time you either get that. All right, another third outcome, I could say, because this just came to mind. The ingredients are completely discordant, and it's absolutely dreadful. That's a possibility, too. Uh, but then the other principal outcome is that some of the ingredients are very potent. They most definitely stand out. Then some of the ingredients are so muted, it's like, why is this even there? I can't even taste it, and it essentially seems pointless. This burrito is the latter. It's not bad, I'll tell you that. This is one of those items that isn't bad. Is it necessarily what I was expecting? I couldn't really say. I couldn't say that it was, by that I mean. And I'll tell you why I specifically wanted to try the Chile Verde sauce. I could taste some of the notes of it in the burrito itself as I was consuming it. It seems very promising. This is one of those items that I see the potential in. I see what it could be. And when I saw the sauce independently, I wanted to try it solely by itself so I could fully understand whether or not that potential that I think I detected uh, could actually be there and if it could be attained. The answer to that is yes. So here's the problem. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just not what I was really expecting, and I could easily see this being a whole lot better. And I think there's something that you, as a customer, can do about it uh, that could actually improve this. So, first and foremost, the ingredients, as we often know with Taco Bell, are disproportionate. I bite into this, and you can even see right here in the cross-section yourself, what do you see the most of, right? What do you see the majority of this being? How much steak do you see? I see two pieces of it. A tiny piece right there, and the tiny piece right there. Look at all the fries. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine fries. You see those fiesta strips, it's loaded with uh, cheese as well. But as far as the steak itself goes, there's such a tiny portion of it. So, despite paying a premium for steak, you're barely seeing any, you're barely tasting any. I will tell you this right now, the steak is only discernible upon visual confirmation. When I look at it, I see it. Can I taste it? Can I detect it? Can I discern it? No, I cannot. So that's the first issue. Steak, chile, verde, fries, burrito. There's steak, can I taste any? No, I can't. That's a portion problem, no. Your Taco Bell may do a better job. Likewise, it is just loaded with the fries, which again, they're totally fine. There's not really a big problem there. Obviously, you would expect there to be fries, but I would hope that there would be a better pairing, a better balance between the fries and the steak. So that's just another thing. It gets a little bit dry, actually. Um, for some reason, I noticed that the potato itself has a bit of a dry characteristic. It was extremely salty, and uh, I think that might have to do with some of the cheese, as well as the fries. They might be really seasoned. So as I'm biting into this, what do I principally taste? I taste the potato from the fries, I taste a bit of a dryness to it, and it's really, really salty. Now, none of this is to excess, and when I say really salty, I know that might sound unbearable, but it's just right at the threshold where it's still doable. So, I taste all this saltiness. And a little bit of cheese, not a ton. The sour cream is missing in action. The Fiesta strips are kind of just there. The steak is kind of just there. Sure, it, it still tastes all right. And then we get to the Chile Verde sauce. The saving grace of this item. It has a very nice, pleasant, little bit, not quite of a tang. It just has this like unique, 
almost sharpness to it, for lack of a better word. It has a flavor unique to itself. It provides much needed moisture to this burrito, and it provides what I would describe as a very flavorful spiciness to it as well. And that cuts through all of that saltiness, all of that dryness that it may otherwise have, just, you know, the, the blend of just the cheese as well. And then you could taste that sharp, pleasantly spicy note from the Chile Verde sauce. Now here's the problem. This is what I mean about the potential. This sauce is the saving grace of this item. If it weren't for that sauce, I would say it's bland, it's too salty, there's not enough steak, and it's not a good item. So this sauce is one of those things, one of those components that makes what would otherwise be a mediocre item into something leagues better. That's the potential, and I see that being somewhat realized. But there is not enough sauce to fully take this item up to the next level that it could be at. So when I see the sauce, mostly on the exterior, which is why, again, I specifically tasted it, because I wanted to make sure, all right, I just want to make sure, you know, that I'm thinking what I'm thinking justifiably, and indeed I am, but it's otherwise on the inside in tiny little pockets, you know? It's like you really can't see a ton of green here, maybe like underneath where my thumb is and maybe on this side too at the top, but that's about it. So here's my recommendation. This item can be quite good, but it needs more of the Chile Verde sauce because that sauce is pretty darn good, I will tell you that. It adds a lot to it flavor-wise. It's got a lot of potential to it. It tastes good. I like it. It's a good sauce. This burrito needs more of that sauce. So if you order this, see if there is a way that you could order this with extra Chile Verde sauce thereon. If you do, I can see this item being quite good. In my case, this isn't a disgusting item. It's not one of those items that, oh, it's, it's so gross or anything like that. It's not like I'm, you know, just spitting it out, uh, you know, on the floor and then leaving the uh, discarded remnants of it on the floor to serve as a warning to other Taco Bell items or anything like that. It's edible, kind of enjoyable, but it could be better. And there's such an easy way to make it better, and that's always a bit frustrating when you see that. You see the potential, but you see that it's not fully realized. It needs some work, but it could definitely, it could really be better really quick. Therefore, out of 10, the Steak Chile Verde Fries Burrito from Taco Bell, I am going to be giving this a 6 out of 10. It's edible. Get it with that extra sauce. If you get it with the extra sauce, and maybe they increase the steak, I could see this easily being an 8. Taco Bell, some improvement is needed, but they're on the right track. That's all that I have. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.